the air around me is lucky. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. Aria is the most recent hotel casino in the MGM Resorts catalog to be built from the ground up by the company. Starting as a joint venture between MGM Resorts and Infinity World Developments, MGM bought the property out in 2021 to run independently. I meant to post this video way back in February, but since we have it now, let's explore Aria Las Vegas here for the holiday season. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, here we are in the back lobby of the Aria Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. This is where you can either go upstairs to their promenade, or you can check out the Aria Men's uh, local store. So it's just kind of their in-store boutique. Also have the nice Christmas clock over here, countdown to Christmas, but right now it is Lunar New Year. So we have Buddha being featured up front. Also, if you go down the escalators over there, you can get to the Uber and Lyft area, but we're not too interested in that. I've done a video on that before, and, you know, it's just kind of something that's there. But we do want to go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of good luck by going to see Buddha. So let's go say hi. All right, so let's get a dollar up there, rub the belly, and then off we go. So hopefully we'll be able to win a little something with that, a little bit of luck though. All right, let's try that last spin. Yeah, nothing on that one. All right, so once we get past elements, gifts, and snacks here, we're gonna be going into the main casino area. So coming into the main casino area here, we're gonna be enjoying thousands of slots and tables here. In fact, the Aria Hotel and Casino is a 150,000 square feet of casino space, including Roulette, Baccarat, and their Aria Poker Go Room. It's also the Patisserie Deli over here, open 24 hours and features nice little deli snacks like salads, sandwiches, and coffee. And yes, I'm counting coffee as a snack. Also takes us to the lift bar. Ah. Oh, good, hand washing station. Let's wash up. Good thing they included these after uh, everything kind of went sideways on us. Because there aren't enough of these in the other hotel casinos. That is one thing I really appreciate about MGM is that they're including the, uh, the hand washing stations and all of their facilities here. I wish the soap would get a little more lathery, but that's just the nature of the beast. All right, here we go. And we're going back to the guest elevators over here. That's where you can enjoy one of Aria's 4,000 rooms and suites. I think Aria is technically considered an all suite hotel. So that might be something to look into. We also have the lift bar over here. This is just kind of one of their little lobby bars. Not too bad. Features a couple video poker machines and I'm sure it has some stats that I'd like to put up on the screen. Also to the left is the Resort Club Lounge. That's actually included in your package if you get a Resort Club room. Those are usually about $125 per person per day. So keep that in mind when you're making your reservations. Ladies and gentlemen's rooms, right over here. But yes, winners and sharks, this is one huge area. We're coming back around to the front lobby just because we missed out on it coming in through the back area, coming from Park MGM and Vidara. But then we'll be able to get a good shot of the casino as a whole. Also coming up to the lobby bar over here, one of 10 main bars and lounges inside the hotel. Unfortunately, it is closed as just a little piano area. Luckily, Bellagio has a little something. 
and then we've already got two of our nearly 15 16 restaurants in the property as well both catch and julian serrano tapas both fairly popular catch is seafood and then uh, julian serrano's is actually tapas which is a spanish dish that literally just means snacks all it means is snacks Crystal shops are also over here. These are roughly analogous to the, actually, you know what? It's like the Miracle Mile shops on steroids, really. We'll have to do a walk through there some other time. And then we come out to the pub before you get back out to the main entrance. When we return to the lobby over here, if you want to do your check-in, this is where you do it. Concierge is on the left side over here, but it looks like it's temporarily closed. So any cards here or services are gonna to have to be done at main check-in. And that'll be your 4,004 rooms and suites that you can check into, all of which are pretty high end. If you enter the main hotel lobby now, you're going to notice their seasonal holiday display. It's not quite as high-end as what they do at Bellagio, but they always like to do a little something. Right now it's Lunar New Year, Year of the Bull if I recall correctly, and they do have a giant dragon that is flying above us. Big gold dragon, hopefully that's going to be good luck for us as we continue to stay in play at MGM Properties. Beautiful details here. Very well crafted. Good pictures. So if you're looking for a good photo opportunity for the Instagram, this is a good spot. <laughs> and of course we have the money tree in the center over here along with the bull statue. Hopefully this will represent the market and we will uh, see some good market returns this year. At least I wouldn't mind seeing that because I'd like to retire. Okay, now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and cut through the rest of the hotel lobby and get to, well, the upstairs promenade. All right, and we are back. We are actually cutting through the hotel's main casino area here. Again, over 150,000 square feet of casino space. That's even bigger than Mandalay Bay's, which we last tracked at 135,000. All the table games are up front in rows on table game row here. And this also leads us to the nightclubs, including Jewel Nightclub, their signature nightclub. You'll also notice to the left their signature Mexican restaurant, Javier's. Higher end, Mexican restaurant. I think it's all right. Kind of froofy for my taste, but you know, I like the down home rustic stuff. Some people that go to Aria don't. So it might be a good option for you. And then to our right is Alibi, their cocktail lounge. It's very popular at the end of the night. So if you're looking for a good spot to kind of hang out, Alibi might be a good spot for you. Dead center in the middle is the Players Club, M Life Players Club. They are one of nine players clubs in the Las Vegas area on the Strip, in addition to Vidara's Players Club as well. So you can generally get your rewards here, and I might stop off and get one myself. All right, and leaving the M Life desk over this way, we're gonna come back to the Gem Bar. So the Gem is the Inn Casino Bar on the right hand side over here. Again, it's another good video poker bank if you're just looking to play a little bit while you drink. 
I believe you have to be betting maximum and have a minimum of $20 in the machine to even get a drink ticket right now. So. Also, we're going to be coming up on, is that what I think it is? Yes, we have the Burger Lounge. There's also the Poker Go Room, but let's go ahead and check out the Burger Lounge first. So if you're looking to go where I'm staying, Bellagio, the tram to that is right over that way. We're also gonna have kind of the front area over here with the Bellagio fountains, excuse me, the Aria fountains are featured over here, as well as the main valet and an extra place to your car rental. So if you go back upstairs, you can get back to Park MGM. So in the meantime, let's go upstairs. After we leave Burger Lounge, which appears to be closed right now, grass-fed burgers apparently but yeah it looks like it's closed right now so no dice on that bright side there are bathrooms over this way if you need that now cutting through all right now cutting back this way we have the go poker room pretty popular poker room here good high stakes games Right now, they seem to be embroiled in a tournament. So we're not gonna jump in there and bother them any. But in case you guys are big po poker players, it might be a good stop to stop on by. Also coming up to the sports bar. Uh, unfortunately, that one seems to be close too, but it also leads to the MGM sport book over here with the Moneyline Pizza and Bar. We tried to go here last Christmas, but they were closed every time that we went. I think they're only open from 11 onward generally, but they don't seem to be tonight. So, that being said, that is most of the casino floor. There are a couple other high roller rooms down this way, but I'm much more interested in getting you guys upstairs to the promenade. Of course, if you are high limit slots players, you can check out the spin high limit slots lounge on the right hand side. And then we're just gonna be looking at a couple more things, dual nightclub and then the main valley. Ooh. Oh man, look at this art gallery back here. I never come back this way. So we've got another high limit lounge over here. So if you're playing high limit slots and high limit games, you can uh, jump in over here. They actually have it themed, Year of the Ox. So themed high limit area where you can play and enjoy yourself a little bit. We're also featuring the Blossom restaurant back here. This is part of a uh, part of the hotel I never really go to. They also have the Baccarat Lounge back here. And more importantly, this lovely Lunar New Year display. All right, spending some sharks, but leaving the sport book is the promenade. So the hotel area for the most part is split into two floors. The promenades where you're gonna have the Aria Buffet where we did do a buffet tour, but for some reason the audio was a little weird on that one there. So if you wanna watch that one with the audio low, feel free to. I'll leave that in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But there was a major technical issue on that video and I just could not fix it. That aside, there's a lot to look forward to on the promenade. They seem to be featuring Jean George Steakhouse as well as Salt and Ivy and Bado right now. So if it's something that you're interested in, come check that out. And it looks like they're doing a little remodeling here in the convention area space. Now already the convention area is pretty huge. There's 300,000 square feet of convention area space. It's largely blocked off due to social distancing and the fact that nobody has any conventions planned. Everyone's on giant Zoom meetings. So the space sits unused to this day when we could have dinosaurs in here and have it ready and operational in less than a month. No wait, hang on, this isn't Jurassic Park and explaining that to the board at Engine. This is an Ace of Vegas video. Moving on, we will be doing nothing with this. All right. Otherwise the promenade is pretty quiet right now. Normally the Aria Buffet is up this way. Needless to say, that is still closed due to social distancing protocols and therefore it cannot be enjoyed. 
also do have a few restaurants around the corner over here to our right is Jean George Steakhouse that's one that I've gone to uh, with Wonder Woman there thoroughly enjoyable steakhouse would recommend it a little overpriced but that's not new for a Vegas steakhouse so be ready for that the buffet at Aria is also featured here Hundreds of dishes on this one, but again, closed normally. This side is for M Life Gold and Platinum members only. And then you have regular M Life members, Pearl and Below, that go through this area here. And then you can enjoy your meals inside. It's a pretty large space, though. Immediately across from the buffet is a large walk of art, including some Christopher Walken art. Yes, you can take a walk with Christopher Walken. And then there's another secret entrance to the Aria Sky Suites. So if you're coming down from the Aria Sky Suites and you've got a hankering for some food, you can take the elevators straight down and get straight into the promenade action, including Carbone, Jean George Steakhouse, and Bardot, all of which are only open for dinner service if they're open as of right now. Good opportunity to kind of appreciate the architecture around here. Really do enjoy. Oh, Lord, and here it is. <laughs> Here's the Starbucks over here. So, number 121 out of the 125 or however many Starbucks they have, because it's not an MGM Resorts casino without a Starbucks on the corner. In addition to Tyrion and then Press Juicery too. So we've got a shop and of course a juicery here. A couple uh, guest elevators so you can take your way back down to your room. So if you're already staying at the hotel, you can do that. And then you can take this hallway down to the liquid pool, the regular pool area, and the spa. Now, the neat thing about Aria Spa is actually two levels. I believe it's 40,000 square feet. It might be 80,000 square feet. So it's roughly 40,000 per floor. I'll have to go ahead and double check that number. And I'll link that in the uh, video or in the description box down below. But Spa and Salon are down this way. And then you can expect the pool on the left. But yeah, that's about it, Spinach and Sharks. So that is the entire Aria Hotel. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, before we go, I want to take a minute to shout out our Patreon members. Guys, it means the world to me that you've chosen to support me in this way and help keep me independent of the YouTube algorithm. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, consider checking out our Patreon in the description box down below. When's your favorite time to visit Aria Las Vegas? Is it just as good as you think, or do you think the property is overrated? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Las Vegas Viva